Alright guys, what is going on? We're going to have a quick little uh, update video right here. Um, making a little run right now to go mount some tires that I uh, just bought. The ones that you guys saw in the, uh, the how to get cheap used tires video that I uploaded. Um, I haven't uploaded it like by the time that I'm filming this, but you know, hey, it's okay. But uh, I'm about to go mount the 245 4019s onto my eight and a half, 19 inch rays that I have. Um, so yeah, this is literally just gonna be a quick little update video on the G35. So literally just gonna be me mounting some tires, putting them on and seeing what they look like because I need new like rubber up front really badly. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go get to this tire shop, guys. Guys, we just pulled up to my place. I'm pulling this stuff out right now. Um, we're gonna hope that we can get it done for a deal-ish. But uh, yeah, these are supposed to be um, the fronts for me, for my drift setup that I'm gonna be doing on the car. Um, more grip, new tires, and all that. So I'm gonna get these mounted, and then I'll catch up with you guys after that. All right, guys, so we just got done with the mounting. It cost me about $30, so uh, wasn't too bad. It was about 15 a tire, or I guess a wheel, you could say. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, some like crazy stuff happened in there. Like a dude got his truck aligned and uh, the shop like took his truck to like take it for a test drive because they just aligned it. So they were trying to make sure everything was set before they gave it to him. And uh, the dude was like freaking out. He was like screaming in the shop. It was honestly kind of funny. Like it was just some skinnier little redneck. So it was hilarious to me. But uh, yeah, so now I'm about to uh, run these other ones in the trunk. About to run it back to the house and uh, get it put on the car. All right, so we got the car up. Got the first tire off. It's that one right there. Got the new one. Pretty sure this is the disgusting plastic dipped one. Yeah, this one with all the messed up plastic dipped, whatever. I'm gonna throw it on the car. And as you guys can see here, little, uh, you can see like these studs are kind of trash. They're extremely trash. So I bought some new ones. Uh, the new ones are actually in the back of the car. Um, I'll be working on that. I mean, you, I'll let you guys know about all this stuff that's going on. Um, in a uh, later video that I'll that I'll just explain everything at one time. But uh, yeah, tire looks good. Everything looks good. So uh, shop did a good job. You know, they didn't screw me over, I think. So um, about to throw this thing on right quick and then uh, we'll lower them and see what it looks like. All right, you got to put on. You see, there's like, a, there's like a little bit, there's a little bit of something going on. A little bit of something going on. So I'll just record the cameras. I'll lower this. Hopefully I don't like... Just completely drop it straight on the ground super quickly. That's totally what's about to happen to you. Dang, I need two hands for this jack. I'll be right back. All right. Let this finish. Oh, oh, it already went all the way. So that is the, uh, that's the new fitment. That's, that's not bad. Um, I'm going to have to see if it like rubs or anything when I'm turning. But it looks a lot better in the front now. Even though this, uh, I'm not really going for looks right now, I'm going for function. Um, trying to get some grip up in the front for some uh, drifting. So, I'm going to finish up the next side right quick, and then I'll just show you guys what it looks like when I'm done with the whole car. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's it. Wheels and tires are on, why am I out of breath? Um, there's a little bit of poke up front from the camber. Same on the other side. They look a lot bigger than I expected them to look, but I mean, I don't know, I, I gotta get used to it. Um, once again, I'm not going for style, I'm not going for form, I'm going for function. So, uh, yeah, I think it did actually lift the front of the car up just a little bit, which sucks. But, uh, whatever, I'll probably just have to get some, uh, some 18s that are wider for the front. Um, so that I can have some grip up there, so that I can also be low. But, uh, yeah, that's what it's looking like right now, guys. I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Throwing these on. Um, I should probably check if they uh, clear, but I'm probably just going to check that as I leave. So I'll probably throw that in after this outro. So, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe to watch what's happening with this car, I am taking this car to a drift event December 9th at Orlando Speed World. Um, so, you know, something's actually happening. That's why I'm putting these up in the front right now. 
um, get a little bit of a wider wheel um, or grip, you know. So uh, it's also why I got all of these that you should have already seen by now. So, yeah. If you guys liked any of that, like it, subscribe. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Or I'll see you guys in the next one because I'm leaving now. But I guess you'll also get to find out whether these are actually clear or not. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Well, looks like uh, hitting bumps while turning isn't an option anymore. But, uh, hey, you know, function and form, right?